Good morning students. Welcome to this first class of 7th standard computer science class. This year we will go to see introduction MS Excel 2007. Introduction to MS Excel 2007. MS Excel 2007 stands for Microsoft Excel 2007. It is one of the components of Microsoft Office. It is an official application. Do you know who is the developer of this application? Ah, yes, Microsoft Corporation. The number one use of MS Excel in the workplace is to do business analysis. You may be surprised to learn that one of the top uses of Excel in business is to manage people. Once you know how to use Excel, you'll find yourself using it more and more. Let them see uses of MS Excel. MS Excel is a software that can format as well as calculate its record. Format means you can change the size, color and font. We can also use for display number and calculation etc. MSE Excel 2007 is a proficient software which combines formatting features with calculating features. Formatting means we can format the text. See how to invoke MS Excel 2007. Click on Start. Select all programs, select Microsoft Office and then select Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Here has another method for opening the Excel. Let us click on MS Excel icon from the desktop screen if it is available. Title bar is on the application window. Status bar always on the bottom of the window. The center part name is worksheet. This button name is MS Office button. This is a quick access toolbar. Let them see the components of MS Excel application window. Let us see the components. This is the title bar. This is the MS Office button. MS Office button is used to create a new file, save a file and also we can send close a file. Right side of the title bar has three buttons namely minimize button, maximize button and close button. Look at the bottom of the window. It is called a status bar. Status bar has a sheet tab. By default, sheet 1 is an active sheet. See, horizontal scroll bar. It is also in the status bar. See, right side of the application window has a vertical scroll bar. The center part name is worksheet. Worksheet are also called spreadsheet. Worksheet consists of rows and columns. The vertical division name is column. Horizontal division name is row. A, B, C, D these are called column name. They are placed on the column heading 1 2 3 3 4 they are called row number they are placed on the row heading first column name a first row number is 1 intersection of rows and columns form a cell the intersection of Rows and columns form a cell. 
the first cell is a active cell each cell has a cell address so the first cell address is a1 a is indicate column name one is indicate row number the data in a worksheet has to be filled in cell wise before the worksheet has two components they are name box and formula bar name box are also called address bar could you see name box and formula bar name box is also called address bar i shall explain all the components so don't worry you may study easily let us see this window carefully children okay this is the quick access toolbar by default this toolbar appears next to the ms office button the quick access toolbar helps us to access the frequently used commands by default only three buttons appears on this toolbar namely save undo and redo save is used to save the workbook and do is used to roll back an action redo is used to apply the same action again the next of the quick access toolbar name is title bar do you know what is the use of title bar it's used to display current workbook file name this area name is ribbon the ribbon is a user interface element created by microsoft the ribbon is a collection of tabs such as home insert page layout formulas data review and view there are seven tabs are available do you know what is the use of title bar it's used to display current workbook file name this area name is ribbon the ribbon is a user interface element created by microsoft the ribbon is a collection of tabs such as home insert page layout formulas data review and view there are seven tabs are available each tab has several group each group contains several related commands see this is one of the group it is one of the group first group name clipboard second group name font it is one of the group some group has this icon this icon name is dialog box launcher look at here this dialog box launcher is used to display additional command in each group the center part name is worksheet window see look at here name box what is the another name of name box is also called address bar see what is the name of this one formula bar what is the use of formula bar we can edit values or formula this part name is column heading what is the first column name a is the first column name this part name is row headings number 1 is a row number first row number the first cell the active cell each cell has a address so first cell address is a1 a represent the column name one represent the row number look at the bottom of the window 
see status bar. It is called status bar. Sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. It is called sheet tabs. By default, sheet 1 is active. There are two types of scroll bar. They are horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar. See, it has three buttons. These three buttons are called page view buttons. This part name is zoom bar. There are two types of zoom. Zoom in and zoom out. Do you know where is the MS Office button in the application window? Yes. This button is found at the top left part of the MS Excel 2007 window. This button helps us to perform many functions. Using this button, we can create a new workbook, open an existing one, save, print, send the workbook and close the current workbook. It is a tool that you use to create new workbook save workbook open an existing workbook send workbook through email and so on title bar it display name of the workbook and application that you are using minimize button is used to minimize the excel window maximize button is used to maximize the excel window close button is used to close the excel application formula bar it is used to enter or edit values or formula in cells. Formula bar is the next of the address bar. Status bar is used to display at the bottom of the page. It contains page view button and zoom bar. There are three buttons available in the page view button. By default, normal view button is selected zoom bar is used to zoom in and zoom out vertical scroll bar a standing scroll bar it is used to scroll the screen up and down you can use the screen moving up and down horizontal scroll bar a parallel scroll bar to the excel 2007 window is used to scroll the screen to left or to right. View button, it helps to view the pages in normal style, page layout and page break. Normal style is a default setting. Zoom bar, zoom bar is used to zoom out or zoom in the up worksheet. The smallest size of zooming is 10% of screen while the largest size of zooming is 400% of screen. Quick access toolbar. It helps us to access the frequently used commands but default only three buttons appears on this toolbar namely save undo or redo same shortcut key is control plus yes undo shortcut key is control plus z redo shortcut key is control plus y ribbon is a collection of tabs such as home insert page layout formulas data review and view in a panel at the top portion of the window. Ribbon is a user interface element. It helps us to find the commands quickly to complete a task. Let them see the recap getting started with MS Excel 2007. Click on start menu then select all programs and then select Microsoft Office and then select Microsoft Office Excel 2007. Here has one more method. You can directly click on MS Excel 2007 icon.
let them see the components of application window what is the use of quick access toolbar yes quick access toolbar is used to frequently used commands by default three buttons they are save undo and redo the next of the quick access toolbar name is title bar is used to display current workbook file name this part name is ribbon ribbon is a collection of tabs in a panel at top portion of the window each tab has several groups each group has several related commands this icon name is dialog box launcher is used to display additional commands in each group this name is name box it also called address bar it is called formula bar is used to enter or edit values or formula the center part name is worksheet window it is called status bar worksheet consist of cells this box name is cell worksheet consist of rows and columns it is called column headings it is called row headings it is called name box name box is used to display address of the cell a1 is a first cell address a represent column name one represent row number office assistant is used to help the user it is called sheet tabs sheet 1 is a active sheet sheet 1 me worksheet 1 navigation button is used to from one sheet to another it is called formula bar what is the use of formula bar it is used to enter or edit data or formulas number of rows in a worksheet is 10 lakhs 48576 rows in a worksheet and 16384 columns in worksheet workbook workbook is a file here we can see how to create a new workbook there are three ways to create a new workbook see number 1 blank workbook number 2 templates number 3 new from existing file workbook is a file blank workbook templates new from existing file the workbook file is saved with an extension as xlsx now see how to create blank workbook click on ms office button and select the option new the new workbook dialog box will appear under templates select blank and recent then on the right side select blank workbook and click on create button here has another method shortcut key is control plus n a new workbook shortcut key name is control plus n templates templates are readily available designs 
structures which have preformatted background designs to create a workbook with templates click on ms office button select the option new new workbook dialog box will be appear click on installed templates select the required templates and click on create button a new workbook gets created with the selected templates new from existing file in excel 2007 it is easy to use the previous workbook styles and calculations for the new workbook to do so click ms office button select the option new the new workbook dialog box will appear select the option new from existing new from existing workbook dialog box appears choose the file and click on create new button the keyboard shortcut for creating a new workbook is control plus n workspace workspace is a file a group of workbooks can be opened in one step by creating a workspace file when a workspace is opened ms excel 2007 automatically opens all the existing workbooks in it creating a workspace step 1 open all the workbooks that are to be opened as a group step 2 click on save workspace button from the window groups from wind view tab and the next step save workspace dialog box appear now enter name for a workspace and click on the save button the workspace file is saved with the extension .xlw entering data in a worksheet your worksheet consists of cells the data in a worksheet has to be filled in cell wise your worksheet consists of cells worksheet consists of cells the data this is a data this is a data the data in a worksheet has to be filled in cell wise cell wise some keys are used to move from one cell to another arrow keys up arrow down arrow right arrow left arrow tab key tab key also is used to move from one cell to another home key or control plus left arrow is used to move the cursor to the first column control plus home key is used to move to the first cell of the worksheet n or control plus right arrow is used to move the cursor to the last column let us see how can we use the keys in the worksheet this is the worksheet your workbook is a collection of worksheet arrow keys right arrow left arrow down arrow up arrow these arrows are used to move the cell here we can type the data the blinking vertical lines name is cursor okay control plus down arrow control plus down arrow is used to 
moves the cell to the last row. What is the last row number? 10 lakhs 48,576. Now you can press Ctrl plus up arrow. Used to move the cell to the first row. First row number is 1. Now you can press Ctrl plus right arrow. Used to move the cell to the last column. Last column name XFD. Now how can you come to the first column? Very good. Control plus left arrow. Used to move the cell to the first column. First column name is A. We will see recap workbook. To create a new workbook, there are three ways to create a new workbook. Number one, blank workbook. Blank workbook uh, is used to creating a very new workbook. The keyboard shortcut for creating a new workbook is Ctrl plus N. Number two, templates. Templates are readily available design structures which have pre-formatted background designs. Number three, new from existing file. In Excel 2007, it is easy to use the previous workbook styles and calculations for the new workbook. The extension is XLSX. Workspace. Workspace also a file. A group of workbooks can be opened in one step by creating a workspace file. When the workspace is opened, MS Excel 2007 automatically opens all the existing workbooks in it. Create a workspace. Click on Save Workspace button from Window Group of the View tab. Extension is XLW. Some keys are used to move from one cell to another. Arrow keys, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow, tab keys. Also, is used to move from uh, one cell to another. Home key or control plus left arrow is used to move the cell to the first column. Control plus home key is used to move to the first cell of the worksheet. End or control plus right arrow is used to move the cursor to the last column. Entering data in a worksheet. A worksheet consists of cells. The data in a worksheet has to be filled in cell-wise. The arrow keys are used to move from one cell to another and tab keys also. And more keys are used from one cell to other. Okay. Uh, here we can enter data in a worksheet. Thank you students. 